wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. So to make a Valentine's Day special, let's make a special recipe. For this recipe, we need one cup of tapioca pearls. See, it should be like this, not too small. So now let's wash this tapioca pearls with water. We need to wash it at least four to five times until the water comes so clear. And now let's pour the clean drinking water and soak it overnight. This tapioca pearls have good nutrients. It helps to cool down your body temperature and helps you in weight gain. You can even give it to your babies too. Once the cleaning process is done, let's close it and keep it aside. So in the next day morning, the tapioca pulse doubled its size, which means that had soaked night properly. See how beautifully it has soaked. It's looking like a sea pulse, isn't it? Now let's take this tapioca pulse and boil it. For one cup of tapioca pulse, you have to add one and a half cup of water. You have to boil it till the tapioca pulls had been transparent. It is the indication of it is cooked well. See, like this. Okay. Now take one spoon of sabza seed and soak it in the water. It will only take 10 to 15 minutes to soak. Sabza seeds also have good properties in it. It also cools down your body's temperature and helps to your weight loss too. So let's keep it aside to soak well. Now we have to wash this tapioca pulse with cold water. We have to wash it because we have to remove the stickiness of the tapioca pulse. We can wash only once, that is enough, or else the nutrients also wash away. Once you strain that, you filter it, the tapioca pulse. See, the tapioca pulse are looking transparent. So beautiful to see now. The stickiness completely removed and it looks so beautiful. Now let's transfer it this beautiful tapioca pulse in the bowl. So now the next ingredient is we are going to add condensed milk. If you don't have condensed milk, you can add the regular milk with sugar. Make sure you don't add too much milk, otherwise it will be watery. See, in the meantime, the sabza seeds had soaked well. It's looking like a tadpole. So, the, so to this cooked tapioca pulse, let's add the condensed milk. I love condensed milk very much. How about you? Comment below. I used to eat it as like raw. Now let's give some flavor to it. For that flavor, I'm going to add rose essence. I like rose milk essence very much. So whatever flavor you like, you can add that. If you don't have any essence, you can add cardamom powder. That is also a flavor. 
It gives you amazing flavor. Let's give it a quick mix together. See how nice the beautiful color is. And that's it. Let's decorate it.